Hey, good morning. I think one of the most exciting things for me uh, as a Christian is getting to see God work in my life. Uh, I know that for the non-believer, uh, I've had people say, oh, that's just coincidence or whatever. But look, if you're a believer and you are seeking God and you're looking for God and you, you spend time in prayer and worshiping God and you know Him better from reading and studying His Word, you see Him. God's desire is for you to see His glory. That's what helps keep you going, even in the bad times, is seeing God's glory. I'm teaching through the book of John right now, and, uh, and John, who calls himself the one who Jesus loved, he looks at himself, I think, as the best friend of Jesus. He was in his inner circle. But he also, uh, his gospel is different than the other three gospels because his main goal is to show us that Jesus is God, that Jesus is the Son of God. So uh, it even says in John 1, 14, it says, So the Word became flesh, Jesus became human, and made His home among us. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness, right? And then he says, And we have seen His glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. Now John saw Jesus' glory, uh, in the miracles that he did, in the way that he taught, and the things that happened when they were following him around. But then the most obvious sign of God's glory, Jesus' glory, is the resurrection. Is the resurrection. As a matter of fact, that's when Scripture says that John believed. That's when he realized that he was truly the Son of God, and he was a Savior. And uh, Jesus is God. And we have seen his glory. John says. So, so as Christians, as we're following him in the Spirit, God lets us see those things. Uh, John 2, 11 is the, or in John 2 is Jesus' first miracle, and he turned the water into wine at a wedding where they ran out of wine, and that was a big deal back then. Uh, and it says in John 2, 11, John says, this miraculous sign in Cana, at Cana in Galilee, was the first time Jesus revealed his glory. The first time Jesus revealed his glory. He has just started his ministry. And it says, and his disciples believed in him. They knew he was someone special. They weren't sure exactly who he was. They knew he was from God because of the things that he did and the things that he said. But this was the start of his ministry and this was his first miracle. His glory demonstrates his power or his power demonstrates his glory. Uh, the Apostle Paul writes this to us Christians, to the church of Ephesus, Ephesians 1, 19 through 20. He says, I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. See, here's the deal. Paul is saying Jesus puts his power into, his into our lives so we get to see his glory. Let me give you a small sample, just a small sample. I can go back. There's lots of big things in my life, but let me give you a little thing that you can practice pretty easily. Um, go through the day thinking of God. Start off, get up in the morning and pray. Spend about 10 minutes reading the Bible. Ask God for forgiveness. Get back on track with God and then spend the day looking for God and listening for God. And if a person comes to mind, text that person and say, hey, just wanted to call you and tell you you came to mind, so I said a little prayer for you. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've done that and somebody has gone, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I needed that so bad today. That's exactly, thank you so much. That's seeing God's glory. Hey, my name is Royal, and I do these talks Monday through Friday, most of the time, and I always end with a prayer. Here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus. In his miracles, in his resurrection, he shows his glory. Today I'm going to look for his glory all day long. I will listen for you and will look for you in all I do. Thank you for putting the same power in my life that raised Jesus from the dead. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. 
Hey, I hope that encourages you. Please subscribe. Uh, pass this on to your friends. If you put in a comment, I will reply. If you have a prayer request, put it in the comments, and I will reply with a prayer. Hey, I will see you tomorrow if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and he'll use you to change the world. I promise. God bless.